Today, we will be reviewing every single as seen on TV product. Starting with the Sham Wow. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. This is for the house, the car, the boat. All right, so first let's do the test of on the table, because I think it's real function is like, it's an OP paper towel. Yeah. All right, so here's, oh. Oh, that's thick. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. I'm just gonna use one side. I wanna see how absorbent like a single side is. Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, now, and then the lift. And now do I just lift it up? Eh, it's that's, not bad. Voila. Oh, that that's sparkly. That's pretty clean. Yeah, there's no, there really isn't any residue. It did a decent job. So now let's test it if we just poured the liquid directly on it. Okay, so here's the creamer. All right, it's sitting nicely on top. Uh, Buffalo Bay. And then here's some of the Sprite. Right, let's do the rest of the Sprite. <gasps> Ooh! Okay. That actually might've helped in like kind of spreading it out. Okay. Now you're telling me when we lift this, there's gonna be nothing underneath this. I would hope so. Uh, this, this. Sham wow, this sham wow, sham wow, sham win. Sham. Sham. Sham? Sham. It's it, it's a sham. It's definitely a sham. I'd say it's, I'd say buy. I think it's a good companion with paper towels, depending on the kind of job you need. Do you know how much they were? Uh, I would hope 25 No, I was gonna say 15. $25. Oh, that's a sham then. It's a die, dude. Uh, okay. Sham wow, Rest sham wow, don't buy. Next up we have the Instant Smile Comfort Fit Teeth. Introducing Perfect Smile, the amazing removable reusable veneer that instantly gives you the look of perfect teeth you'll be proud to smile about. So here's what a normal smile looks like. And this is what an enhanced smile looks like. <laughs> This doesn't look too bad. Uh, here, from far away, maybe it looks a little more natural. I sound like Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're easy to put on. It's hardened really quickly, so that you can like take them off real easy, hopefully. <laughs> You're stuck like that forever. <laughs> oh God, okay, wait, hold on, hold on. You have to run for office. Oh, hold on there, cowboy. I am wearing a, 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 a permanent retainer on, behind my teeth, oh, no. and I hope it didn't like snag on that. Yeah, there we go. Wow, yeah, not advice if you have retainers. I'm running for office, buy or die. Oh no, like for, for this, your, your polling rates are gonna skyrocket for this, so please buy. And while you're working on your thighs, you can also work on your arms with the Shake Weight. Shake Weight is the flab busting breakthrough that trims your arms and shapes your shoulders at the same time. So the Shake Weight, I mean, probably one of the most popular infomercial products of all time. You yeah. just take it and it is what it sounds like. You just shake the weight. You just do that, you just shake the weight, switch arms, yep. different angles, whatever you gotta do in I front mean, of you, behind you. It's a very standard, regular, and frequent motion that you're doing day to day anyway. I mean, I'll speak for myself, but I do this motion a few times a day. Yeah, no, it's healthy to things. actually, you know, do this regularly. This is, I mean, it's a useful motion. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Whatever you gotta do with it. So you could be, what, like brushing your teeth? Yep, that's, that's definitely one of them. Shaking hands? Yeah, oh, that's actually, I haven't seen that been used before. <laughs> <laughs> that's the shake weight, so I would say buy this product. I think it's definitely worth it. I'm working no. out those arms. It definitely helps stabilize your muscles. Toilet golf. Oh, no way! You can have more time to practice your putting with the Potty Putter, the amazing new toilet time golf game that lets you practice your putting on the potty. So toilet golf, you put a felt thing right around the toilet seat, boom, bop, and look with this. Whoa! On the short side, and then... Hey, you take Good care also. of real business. This next product is the Slap Chop. One slap, you got big chunks for stews. Two slaps, home fries in a second. And look at this, but you add a mushroom, the more you do it, the finer it gets, you have to switch any blades. So this is one of my favorite infomercials I've ever watched in my life. I think because I believed it for the longest time. Yeah. And then I don't know why like this hasn't become more popularized. Cause I feel like it's a perfect solution to cutting your vegetables, especially if you don't really care about what they look like. Yeah, you just need them in small little bits, throw them in a salad. Yeah, I think this salad. does it. Uh, yeah, so inside Side of here, you're supposed to put in the vegetables. We have a bunch of carrots on here, so we're going to put the carrots in the cup. All right, so there's no magic going on here. Put it in here, and then you're ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, what are you expecting here? I'm expecting diced uh, carrots. I'm not looking. Oh, no, you're gonna turn it into powder. <laughs> It's a lot of slaps. So you're telling me I'm gonna open this up, there's gonna be cut carrots in here? You know, I don't know if your technique was right, but Oh. Oh bruh. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> they just stuck to the bottom. There's. <laughs> what is this what? scam? It didn't cut up anything. I mean, maybe you were a little too, too like. I was too choppy with it. Maybe. Like, I think you need to like give There's it a slap. There's no way. <laughs> this is gunshots. Oh. Uh, oh. You're, you know, you're absolutely right. So if you give this thing a good slap and you go from. 
carrot. Oh, okay. To no, that's baby pretty carrot. Good. There's small pieces, large pieces. Hey, give it but, a try. But pieces nonetheless. Mince it. Hold on. Wait, let me put in a request. Okay. Hi, um, I'm looking for uh, soup, and I just have a really, I have an allergy. I can't have uh, like big carrots, so I need like really minced up carrots if you could do that. I don't know if that's possible. No, absolutely. My child has the same condition, so. Yeah, yeah. By the way, sir. Okay, thank This you. is how I do it. Your carrots, sir. Ah, uh, okay, I guess it passes. Yeah. There's a few big there pieces, we go. but. So that's the slap chop. You'll survive. Slap chop, buy or die. 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 Now we have the thigh master. Every single time you squeeze thigh master, you strengthen and tone right where you need it. So the thigh master is meant to work out your legs. So if you're just sitting watching this video, for instance, and you want to start working out, but you don't have the motivation to do so, for $6.99, you can buy yourself the thigh master. You put this hinge right where your thing is, and then you just do a little bit of yeah, a little bit of work. There you go, your thigh master right there. That's all it is, just a little bit of squeeze. Their technique. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, this is great for uh, for those folks working from home as well. You can even sleep like this. Oh yeah, you just build in the muscle memory. It's like listening to classical music when you're sleeping. You're just training your brain like this. You're just training your thighs. You could also use it for chest. If you want to do some flies while you're sitting here, do a little DK clap. Yeah. Huh. Oh, there we huh. go. A little bit of resistance. Oh, like yeah. That. Ooh, some shoulders. Ooh. Oh, shoulder flies. So you could do basically any workout with that. Honestly, yeah, you could, you could work out everything. Next up is the George Foreman grill. Chicken. Yeah. Potato wedges. Uh-huh. Steak. Sure. Paninis. Easy. Salmon. My speciality. Um, vegetables. Naturally. From frozen. You bet. So I think this is the best selling as seen on TV product ever. I was looking it up. George uh, Foreman, if you don't know who he is, he is a retired boxer and he turned into a grill maker because one day he was just tired of going outside and putting on the propane and making his own meats. He said, why can't we just plug this into the wall? And boy, was he onto something. He was a true Renaissance man. Because now in front of us, we have an electric grill, which you may be thinking to yourself, oh, Sam, I've seen this so many times in my life. Well, guess what? Know who started it? George Foreman, this man right here. Yeah, Maybe respect your forefathers. Right <laughs> <laughs> we have a piece of chicken right here, very thinly cut. I'm not a believer in this product. Why not? <laughs> I just don't think this is meant to work. It just doesn't seem like legitimate. You have to trust that the temperature it chooses for you is like perfect. perfect. All right, that's a good sign. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can still keep going a little bit. There's some, there's some pink. Yeah. All right, we'll do a little bit, a little bit of a press down. Yeah. Whoa, oh. whoa. Okay. Oh wow, look at that pink spot like just disappeared. That's, <laughs> that's really quick. It's definitely working. Yeah. It hey, looks I, in good enough shape to eat. I yeah. would trust this, right? I like the color on that, yeah. Let me cut this bad boy open. That, Pretty decently cooked. It's yeah. a little undercooked. I kind of like my chicken a little more cooked, but it will suffice. It's definitely cooked. Yeah, no, it's cooked through. Okay, I'm gonna give it a bite. I'd say this is actually good. Made from the George Foreman grill, the boxing master himself. Yeah. Cheers. It's chicken. It's all right. I'd say that th this would work out. Next up, we have the Dream Tent. Introducing Dream Tents. All kids love tents, and now they can have their very own tent every night when they go to bed. So the Dream Tent is supposed to be a tent for anybody, so anybody can make a tent, because all you need to do is open it, and then it's supposed to pop up and then make a tent. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So I'm guessing it's uh, blue twist. and, oh. So we have to pitch a tent. So they lied to us. I thought they were just gonna yeah, automatically- this is definitely not an instant tent. Oh. I mean, it is kind of cool. They got a little night sky uh, picture printed on the top. Oh, we just pitched a tent. Wow, look at that. Oh, well, okay. This isn't even sealed though. What if it's like <laughs> gusty? They did not bother to like- Oh, your knees are getting a little- Oh no. Yeah, yeah this is actually, this is terrible for uh, <laughs> for any wet grass. What the? <laughs> This is not built for camping. Why not just put like a tarp down that's like waterproof? This is, they might as well just put like a sham wow at the bottom. This is a clear money grab, unless it's supposed to be meant for indoors. Yeah, this is like an indoor tent. This is not like weatherproof by any means. If, uh... <laughs> Yeah, this thing is kind of garbage. Yeah. I would pass on the dream tent. No, yeah, pass on it. All right, here we have Ruby Sliders. Now there's Ruby Sliders, the new silicon chair leg covers that protect your floors, prevent scratching, and slide with ease without all the noise. All right, so here are the Ruby Sliders right here. So it's a nice little plastic jelly sort of thing. So if you don't want to slide furniture on the floor, then look no further than Ruby Sliders. So you just slide these suckers right on. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're not the prettiest looking thing. Oh. So it doesn't prevent it from moving, but it's it's a safer slide on the floor because it uses felt on the bottom of it, I believe. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bit, it's fun. Look, you're slide oh, today. Oh, okay, okay. It's like a, what, shuffleboard, but with Yeah. A... Oh, I wow, like that. Okay, it's kind of fun. Ooh, oh, wait, let's do a split. Oh. 
Uh, that's a, so if you're that's cleaning okay. your floors or something, it's like really easy to maneuver items away. All right, yeah. No, that's a that's a buy for sure. So here we have the flippies. Just step around, jump around, or dance around, and watch them flip and flop every time you walk around. All right, so I mean, they're a little small. I got these in kid size. I thought it was in men's size, but I guess they don't make these for men like myself. What's cool about these is you can interact with the sneaker. So you can oh. see the dog ears going up and down. Oh, I love that. So if I was a little kid, I'd be playing with these. Look at that, look at all that flapping. No CGI here, huh. What is, like, what is the mechanism? I don't know, it's kind of amazing. So is it every step you're taking? Let's check. Oh yeah, yeah, walk down the, the, the catwalk here. It's every Whoa. single step. I would say the flippies is an absolute buy. Absolutely, get that. Straight cop. Next up. We have the clapper. Let your appliances turn on and off just by clapping. Clap on the music. It's easy. This one's pretty straightforward. So you plug a device into the clapper and then you just clap and it goes on and you clap and it goes off. But so let's not give it credit until it actually works. Uh, yeah, we gotta do the we gotta do the buy or die. All right, so we just plugged in the clapper. So let's see if this works. You do the honors. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, I did not expect that to work. There was a little bit of a delay, but it, it, it worked. But if it turns on, let's see if it turns off. Uh-oh, let me try again. Ooh, I'm a fan of that. Wait, hold on. That's fun. How sensitive is it to claps? Like what if I snapped? Hmm. Wow. Or, so it, or a knock? No. What if you're close to it? Does it become more sensitive, I'm guessing? Is it quicker? Okay. What if you slap like sandals together? Oh, oh okay. If you got okay. meaty, if you got meaty sandal hands. Yeah. I'd say for eight dollars, everybody should have this in their home. Why not? I think so. If you don't mind clapping, maybe once or twice, maybe three times if it's if, it, if it's a stretch. Billy May's OxyClean here, making tough stains disappear like magic without fading or bleeding the colors. So I don't think you're supposed to handle these completely by hand. So we're gonna be as safe as we can with it. But what we're yeah. gonna do is we're gonna pour some OxyClean into here. We're gonna dirty up a ShamWow to see yep. if the OxyClean can clean the ShamWow. It's like a little collab of infomercial products. Look at that. So let's put some ketchup Ooh. on you. Yeah. Oh, ew. Yeah, that's worked in there. It's got red 40 everywhere. Yep. All right, and we're gonna drop a couple of these oxys in here. Oxy clean. I think just one, right? Just one? Yeah, I, I, it's a small bowl. You don't want double power? Oh. Do we want to get, we want to du double it up? Okay. Oh no! Full <laughs> oxy now. The triple threat. Oh, it, okay, so it's up. starting to release. I guess it's like the heat. Do you want to see the craziest thing of your life? Okay, okay. No, 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 no. What? It's completely gone. Where'd it go? Wait, I'm surprised this worked. Uh, wow. There's not a, a I don't remnant see... of ketchup on this. It's just orange now. I, there's no like sminge of uh, of red ketchup anywhere. OxyClean, bye. No, yeah, no absolutely. absolutely. Here we have Joyin Bubble Storm Super Shooters. Why blow one bubble when you can blow thousands? Its bubble blasting power comes from the multi-barrel design and rapid blasting motor. Here you have it right here, and then on the bottom is where you input the ammo. Yeah. In this oh. case, it's bubble solution. All right, we're locked and loaded. Oh, oh wait. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, there we go. Wow, wait, what oh, if we this combine is, this? This is magical. Oh, that's turbulent right there. Jeez, look at all the Whoa. bubbles. <laughs> oh, that, this is actually kind of fun. Oh, this is very fun. I see why kids play with them. <laughs> Your neighbors are gonna be so confused. I know. I would get my kid this. This is enchanting. Yeah, this is wonderful. Bye. Buy this, please. All oh. ages. This one's an absolute classic, the Snuggie. There's the Snuggie, the blanket that has sleeves. The Snuggie keeps you totally warm and gives you the freedom to use your hands. All right, so here we go. I believe my arms go through here. Yeah, it's like a Is reverse a... robe. Look like a, a Grimace warlock. Yeah, I feel Shaman. Like, <laughs> feel like Grimace or Muck or the Teletubby. Cuddle up like this. What's the difference between this and a blanket? Is it just simply these arm sleeves? I, I think it's the arms and like you can see snack and you know use the remote and all that stuff and stay like always covered so like that's Oh, I the guess, but then I'm more likely to spill stuff on it. Well, it protects it's also your not clothes. not even that comfortable. It's, I'd say this is not that comfortable. I would pass on the Snuggie. The reason we have the cutting board is because now we're looking at the Ginsu knife set. It'll cut through a branch and still remain razor sharp. Cut a nail and still go through pineapple like this. Okay, so these apparently, if forever sharp promise, we'll put that to the test. And oh, it yeah. looks like that they're very easy to use and that they can chop through anything it says. Really? really anything. All right, let's see about that. 
that. Uh, you can't chop through your own packaging. So it looks like just a classic knife. It's, it's serrated. It's honestly not super sharp by touch. The point of it also, it's like a butter knife. Yeah, no, this wouldn't <laughs> pass in London. <laughs> <laughs> the first test is gonna be just a carrot, which it's already struggling with. Oh, I don't like, I don't like this, that, that speed. It's okay. a little slow. A little slow to cut a carrot, you'd think a little bit quicker. Hi-ya! Okay, maybe it's my fault. Maybe I should be putting more force you into gotta, it. Now at that point, I feel like you're chopping. You're not slicing through. Uh, Ham, hand me the sham wow. Oh yeah. I think it's gonna actually do pretty well since it's serrated. So there you can kind of hack through it. Okay, so let's see if we can cut through this. Sh oh! oh! It's like bread. You think it could cut through cardboard? It better. Oh that's not yeah, bad. yeah, that's not bad at all. All right, so Ginsu knife, bye. Maybe. I, I guess. Uh, how much were these? Like 10 bucks. 10 bucks for, okay. It's a good steal, but I'm sure Amazon Basics makes better ones. Here we have Hamper Hoops. All-star basketball hoop and hamper by Whammo. He shoots, he scores, and mom, so do you. All right, so Hamper Hoops, it's just a laundry basket, but you could have fun with it. So you could like shoot your laundry into the basketball hoop. Kind of revolutionary for little boys. They love shooting and dunking and doing their thing. So why not put your laundry away while you're at it? So we're gonna take this Snuggie, which might actually be too big. So this might not be an item that's kind of worth putting in, but uh, very okay. fun. What else I got? <laughs> what else? You know, got some socks. Oh, socks, that's a good candidate. Hey, uh, hey almost. Hey, hey. oh, okay, okay. You know, that counts. Fun. I'm having fun, here you go. That's good, it's a good jolly time. Okay, yeah, that was all right. Man. Hey, you're still motivated to, to pick know, up, yeah. clean your stuff, kind of reshoot even if you miss. Got Oops. the flippers. No, oh, under the leg, that's straight in. One more time. You thought that was cool? Half court shot. All right, let's see it. Woo! All right. Yeah, boy. That's the most fun I've had with laundry in probably my entire life. So I would say buy this. It's a fun thing. Put it on your kids if they're like eight to 12, put it on their door, slap it on, and you will have a clean room for your kids. Okay, so now we have the Star Shower Ultra 9. Feels like <laughs> they, have a kid would... <laughs> they have nine of these. Already. They made nine of these. Now with just one plug and one light, your home can go from dull to dazzling. All right, I've never actually seen this before. This is something that I'm new to. Have you used this before? Never used it, but you always got neighbors that are feeling just festive enough to just, you know, spray some lights against their house, but not do any of the decoration. Oh, so it's like floodlights kind of. Yeah, it's like colored floodlights that make shapes. Oh, this thing looks illegal. It looks like a radar. All right, so it's plugged in. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, it's working. Yeah, don't look directly oh, it's like into a, it though. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> oh. How does Santa come into households when I, getting I know, blinded? This is like a security system. Jeez. Okay, yeah. Oh, look at that, the couch. So the couch is white, so now you can see all the fun stuff happening to it. So I could put it blinking as well. There's like different modes. Oh, okay, I see. I could do anything motion. Different colors? It's only green and red. So here's red only. Mm. Now here's green only, and then this is both of them. And there's even stakes, so you can put it directly into the ground. Yeah, or you can kill the vampires. True. Now you may be wondering why I'm barefoot, and boy do I have a gift for you, the Pet Egg. Introducing the all new Pet Egg Power. It gently buffs away calluses, drier dead skin, and gets rid of rough patches in seconds. So the Pet Egg is used in salons across the world. This is, I think, the second best selling infomercial product ever, because like I said, every nail salon now has it in it. You open it up, and it's a cheese grater for your feet. So what I'm going to be doing is testing it on my calluses. So just to show, here's what my foot currently looks like. Look at that nasty, nasty. Nasty, callous, red and feet. And now we go to Great Town on it. Now, we're get, just gonna grate away. Get a little Parmesan action. Oh, there's some, uh, there's some, there's some flakes. Early shedding. Now, I do wanna note that I am a frequent pedicure goer and I got one two weeks ago. So it is limited. So I might be just grinding my actual skin right <laughs> now because I'm not seeing too many once calluses. You, once you start seeing red, then uh, then I think uh, it's time to stop. Take it's as clean look. as it'll ever be. Oh, look at that. It's a little glossy too, but yeah, love that. that. Pet egg, I would definitely recommend buying. But now we have the flex tape. The super strong waterproof tape. All right, so flex tape is, as they say, strong rubberized waterproof tape. So this thing could tape up anything. How do yep. you want to test this? I'd say to put it to the ultimate test, we're going to have to see if it can create like a watertight seal around something that would leak a lot. So okay. like around a box. If we can make a box into like a bucket, a cardboard, yeah, like that. Let's fill this up. Yeah. All right, so here's the flexi tape. It is strong. It's got like Gorilla Glue on it or something. You see that? That, that is really wide. This is an adhesive. Yeah, it's quite big. So let's test it on this box. All right. All right, so <laughs> let's just take, oh my. Oh no. <laughs> it's like a human fly trap. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna tape this box. Yeah, let's get those seams. Look at everything sticking to it. <laughs> 
<laughs> you, the, the scissors can't even cut through it without sticking. Okay, there's no way water gets through here. No, th we're turning this into a plastic bucket, basically. All right. Okay, so according to flex tape, this water should not penetrate through the tape, which means that this should technically hold this entire canister of water. Yep. So here we go. All right, let's do it. I mean, there are drops, but I'm pleasantly surprised. That's it, not. Not much. I mean, for, for literally a paper box. That held this entire thing pretty much. That's, that's a lot of water in there too. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. That's, that is a bathtub in there. That's a real bath right there. Okay. It's holding. Flex tape might be a buy. Yeah, no, it works. Next up, we have Zoo Pals. Oink, oink, Zoo Pals. Buzz, buzz, Zoo Pals. This was always a treat when you had these. It was always fun. You invite some friends to a birthday party, you pass out some Zoo yeah. Pals. Nah, it really made eating fun. And that's actually the tag right there. Wow, did it you know? eating fun. No, it's just, you get that vibe. It I does, mean. it makes eating fun, you're right. What's your favorite animal? I'm gonna go with, and I hope they have it here, uh, elephant. Okay. I like bears, but I feel like they're not included in this. Who would win, a bear or an elephant? I'd say an elephant would win. Off of sheer size, if we're talking like an African elephant. Yeah. Pig. Pig. Pig would die from a bear. Attack. These are like trading cards, you know? It's like in each one. Oh my God, oh, bear! Oh! oh, that's rare. Wow, this wow. is like pulling a shiny. Is that like a, is, it's a hologram, I think. Oh my, yeah, this that's is a, a kind of hollow, shiny. yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's a top tier pal right there. Theo, they even have names too. So here's Theo. This Oop. is a Curly. Here we have Domino, right. dog. We have Speckle, the ladybug right here. Oh, this is a cute one. Oh, that, I, that one might be my favorite so far. Balu, which is the whale. <laughs> oh, we got the cow Cosmo with a K. Okay, very edgy. We have Puddles, that's a cute name for the duck. I'm not seeing an elephant. Ooh, uh, we got Shelly, the turtle. And then we have Tina the tiger. Now uh, we're gonna rank them in order of strength of animal, starting with the weakest. I mean, you just have to go ladybug. Well, actually, here. yeah, let's just do like a tier list. Okay, so ladybugs will be the weakest. Okay, I'm gonna go, oh, this is, you know what? I'm gonna go with the, with the frog. Maybe. You have turtle right here. You don't think a turtle? No, no, a turtle has a shell. Like I would put, I would put them like, no, actually, I put the duck, then the turtle. You think turtles are they have stronger? A they have a defense system. I would put a pig after, because I would put a okay. dog in front of a pig. Okay, fair, fair. And then I think it's only fair to put a cow after a dog, because I think a cow is too big for at least a medium to small size dog to take on. And I feel like cows, bulls, they got rage. Ooh, yeah, no, we, we need to consider all genders. And then I think afterwards you have to go tiger, tiger then line. bear, because I think a bear easily beats a tiger. Yeah, and then we got home field advantage for the whale. It's Who's beating a whale? <laughs> Humans. I, great white sharks can't even really do it. I think, are we the apex, yeah, we are the apex predator. Yes. Right? And with all that being said, zoo pals, buy or die. Um, I'd say buy. I'd say buy, they're fun. Look at my, yeah. we just had five minutes of good fun just buying plates. Okay, so now we have ruby monkey magnets. Introducing ruby monkey magnets, the ultra thin magnet plates that will keep your doors and drawers shut. So these ruby magnets can basically like stick between different surfaces. So let's go ahead and try it on this drawer right here. Here. So here's two of these, and then it sticks together Whoa. like so. So here's just between wood. <laughs> that's, that's, so, I think, yeah, you maxed it out already. <laughs> is it unable to, okay, so it can't go through about an inch worth of wood. I False advertise. Oh, it has a, the signal's almost there. Wait, you feel something like I some feel like resistance? a little bit of resistance. I'm not sure if it needs to be like, if sandwiched between something. Like these little holes here, you have to screw it into like this, like back part of it and then the front of the shell. So oh. this is here, the wall is here and as they come closer, they... Ah, okay. <laughs> so this is an absolute waste of money because it, you have to buy screws and everything separately. You have to like basically plan things out. Yeah, this just, is not renter safe. I would not recommend and also don't eat magnets. Yeah. They're not even that good. Our next infomercial product that was a real joy watching these commercials growing up, Chia Pet. There's a new pet. Ch -ch -ch Chia. Chia Pet, the pottery that grows. It's fun and easy. Oh, they even got the little uh, Ch chime. Ch 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 Chia. Yeah, oh. Ch 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 Chia. Ch Chia. They trademarked it and everything. Good for them. We're gonna get uh, striked for that. So <laughs> Chia Pets are just basically interactive flowering plants. Yeah, it's, it's like an animal shaped pot. Basically. Okay, so we have um, got the seeds here. Oh, it's a hedgehog. Where does it grow? I thought it would have like a bunch of little holes on it. Uh, or is that because it's like terracotta that it's like, I think it's like porous. It's it's porous enough for things to emerge from wow. it. Yeah, so there's only one big slot That's at the opening. And then as we've noted, it's terracotta on top. So it is porous, hopefully to some degree. Otherwise we just got scammed. All right, so I'm gonna pour all of them in because we want a guy to have a really good head of hair. And then what, we just put water in it? What's the next step after oh, this? Yeah, let's see. Um, mix two teaspoons 
of chia seeds with two tablespoons of water in a separate container. Wait five minutes, then stir the seed mixture until you get a jam-like consistency. That's disgusting. Um, oh yeah, I mean like, oh, we skipped so many steps. Dude, let's just put water in it. You know, yeah, it's, I wonder it's if a we can, plant. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if we can get away with just like dumping the seeds in and like submerging it in water. But now I'm seeing here, after you take it out of the water, you let it like, I guess, dry for two to three minutes, then apply a thin, even layer of seeds to the outside of the clay. Oh. So it's like a reverse self-watering plant pot. What's the, the other fun way in around? that? So the water is on the inside and then the seeds are stuck on the outside because they're like sticky and slimy and jelly-like. So that's how it gets its like... So we got scammed. Uh, I mean, I, the instructions were here. So, I mean, I wonder what, what it would look- What kid is going to know how to do this? If you're a kid and you're nine years old, you're not gonna understand that you're supposed to put seeds on the terracotta on the, the hedgehog statue. Yeah, I mean, there's that a hole That doesn't make here. sense. You would think the hole in, a, in something like a pot or a vessel is like, oh, I put the seeds in there. Seeds plus water, right? Any human. Maybe we're not smart enough, I guess, to function- You have to think shape. outside the pot. <laughs> Die. <laughs> this next product is ID Police, which is an identity protector. Get the ID Police, the new ink roller that encrypts all your old documents. So before you throw it out, just roll it on. So here's how it comes in. ID Police, it notes right on it. So it's, oh, it's like a, a rolling stamp. Yeah, so let's say you buy a shake weight. You're a little ashamed that you're working out trying to get into shape. You don't want your neighbors to see it. And so what you can do is here's the original packaging. Yep. You just take this bad boy and you just go all over it. And what you could do is just obscure any text. Uh, it's, yeah, it's working. On the box. So it's it's literally like a, a rolling stamp. Yeah, what's it say on? It says police. Ice police? So it's basically just a marker. <laughs> Why do, what's the difference between just peeling this off and or just using a marker to just go across it? I don't know. I mean, I, I guess if you use like a Sharpie, it might like bleed through and ruin the like pa the other side of the paper. What a garbage product. Yeah, what are you trying to hide anyway? So right here we have Life Alert, otherwise known as the digital doorbell. Why take chances with the lives of your loved ones? With Life Alert's 24-hour protection, you don't have to. All right, so there's two pieces to the Life Alert. You have the thing that plugs into the wall, and then you have the SOS button, which you're supposed to click, and then it sends a signal to this device plugged in. We're gonna test its range to see if I can actually get some help if I click on the button. So let's plug this into the wall right here. Ooh, that's loud. That's really loud, okay. All right, so if I click the SOS button right here, then apparently that'll go off, so let's see. All right. Yeah, okay. you'll definitely hear that. Take this and then go as far as you possibly can. And then when I say ready, I'm gonna click the SOS button. And then if you don't come in 10 seconds, I'm gonna assume you didn't hear it and I'll be dead, okay? Sounds good. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna click it in three, two, one. <gasps> Help me. character is more famous? I think Spongebob. Is he really not coming? All right guys, I just died. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content, click here, click here. Otherwise, subscribe on your way out and I'll see you next time. Peace.